What's your name? My name is Curtis Brown. And Curtis, when you were 11 years old, something terrible happened that has changed your life forever. What was that? Yes, ma'am. I was accused of aggravated sexual assault of two males. And I did not do it. And it's done changed my whole life since then. The police been messing with me. They've been taking me back and forth to jail from my parents. And it seemed like they don't want to leave me alone unless I just get some outside help. So at the age of 11, you were arrested. Did you have a trial or what happened? No, ma'am. I didn't have no trial. I ain't had nothing. What they did was they scared me into pleading guilt on some stuff that I did not do. They talking about they were going to give me 50 years if I didn't plead guilty to it. Or they were going to take me away from my parents and I wasn't going to never see them again. And uh, you had a court-appointed attorney, right? Yes, ma'am. And your attorney told you to plead guilty? Yes, ma'am. Right. said if you don't plead guilty, you finna be gone for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you pled guilty and you were placed in juvenile prison for how long? Yes, ma'am. I was placed in there for like five or six years straight. Mm -hmm. And then when you got out, you had to register. I had to register for 10 years. But I only got it registered once a year, mm -hmm. every year, for so 10 years. you're currently a registered sex offender uh, dating back when you were 11 years old. Yes, ma'am. This stuff been behind me mm -hmm. since I was a kid. I'm 25 years old now, and they still bother me about it. They won't leave me alone. When you were, uh, I think it was it 2014, you were arrested? Yes, ma'am. For a felon to register. They talking about I failed to register as a sex offender. I did not do that. I did go register as a sex offender. I had my ID, my, my ID card, everything. It was just something they made up to put me back in jail on, and that's what they did. Um, the record showed that you did register. They claiming that uh, you registered at a place you weren't at. Is that correct? No, man, they talking about uh, my address. They talking about it was a job. It was an address, change of address at the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, I was going through some things, mm -hmm. and they didn't understand it, so I couldn't tell them about it. And so uh, how long did you stay in prison on, in that instance? They put me in prison for uh, 14 months. I stayed gone, and I come back home. I was doing good. Then next thing you know, it was the same thing again. Boom, out the blue. It seemed like it's just always me. And this time, they're saying that you did uh, register, but they're claiming you didn't tell them about a job. Yes, uh, ma'am. Uh, I had got laid off from my job. Around like January or February at the beginning of the year, it was like around 2016, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And my uh, registration officer, Lieutenant Jenkins, he said he wasn't going to change it in the computer. And he did not change it in the computer. And therefore, that's out of my hand. So I couldn't go in there and change it for him. And that's what got me violated now. Him not wanting to do his job, the lack of communication. I noticed in the trial transcript... He admit he admitted that he frequently doesn't go into to the computer and change anything. He says he because people get jobs, they get laid off, and then they go back, and so he doesn't bother changing that in the computer. Yet he testified uh, against you at your trial. Yes, ma'am. He sure did. They got up there and let him freestyle. He did what he wanted to do. They said. If it's a reasonable a doubt of shadow or however it go, I ain't supposed to be uh, prosecuted. It, it's, it's doubt in this case. And they still talking mm -hmm. about they let him get away with what he want to do because he's a police officer. But uh, he failed to call any witnesses on your behalf. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. I had a corner appointed attorney, and they all worked together. 
So he he gonna work with him. He okay. did. He he said he gonna do his job. He didn't do it. So um, what are you asking people to do? I'm trying to see if I can get some outside help from my black people or some anything, some that can change this to keep people from me like me getting in trouble. I'm innocent and I'm and and I got ten years right now. Just from when I was eleven years old. Okay. All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am.